We're locked and loaded with another great Warriors today on tap for you all today. And here's what we're discussing. Another dominant performance against the Celtics. That's right, another one. Yeah, flashbacks of the NBA Finals last year. Bob Myers latest. Has it gotten a contract extension beyond this year? That's very, very interesting. We'll dive into that. And could Golden State shock the NBA world by trading for DeMar DeRozan, who last year had a career year, and once again for the Chicago Bulls this year, he's balling out. But first, Dub Nation, you have to be excited about taking down the Boston Celtics over the weekend on Saturday in a performance that was really, really impressive and hopefully a sign of consistency to come for this basketball team. So if you're pumped up about that, I want everybody watching right now to type dubs in the comment section. It was a spectacle for the Warriors, 123-107 over the Boston Celtics in a rematch of the NBA Finals from a year ago. And Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, both going off. Warriors as a team, knocking down at 10 three-pointers. And really, it was vintage Golden State. And it looked as though the Boston Celtics had absolutely no answers defensively for what the Warriors were trying to do on the offensive end. And I was kind of mystified by the Celtics' defensive game plan. But you know who was like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> we'll take what you're giving us. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry. Clay with 34, Steph Curry with 32, and Jordan Poole with 20. Those guys had some great performances in the NBA Finals a year ago, and once again they did. And the defense for the Warriors very good as they were able to lock down Jason Tatum, who up to this point has been having a career year. And the Splash Bros in the backcourt, in addition to Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson was making it happen. They were great. So it was really the splash trio for the Warriors. Steph Curry with 32, shot 57% from the floor, 54.5% from long range. And then Jordan Poole has really struggled up to this point. The shooting percentage continues to be a little bit concerning, but still was shaking like bacon out there. Really, the biggest takeaway for the Warriors is how Klay Thompson played because he hasn't looked right physically all year and because he hasn't looked and probably felt that great physically. The mental game has struggled a little bit. My goodness, Klay Thompson isn't going to go out there every single night and drop 34 points. But if he can play like that once in a while and at least be a little bit more consistent, then this Warriors team can win the Western Conference once again. They can make it to the NBA Finals because right now I really see it as a two-horse race. The New Orleans Pelicans in a seven-game series against the Warriors could give them a lot of trouble with their athleticism, their overall skill, and just the semblance of talent that they have on that roster. But really, it's a two-headed race, in my opinion, right now in the West between those two teams. And then you throw the Memphis Grizzlies in there as well. They've been a little bit underwhelming up to this point, but they can certainly make some headway. Denver Nuggets playing good ball. Phoenix Suns have really been struggling of late. You see the Warriors down there in that A spot at 14 and 13 this year. A lot of people thought the Los Angeles Clippers could win a title. Trailblazers started hot, but they've tailed off. Sacramento Kings, a surprise story there. But come on, let's be real. When it comes playoff time, you expect the Warriors to play their best basketball and in a series against New Orleans, in a series against Memphis, in a series against the Nuggets or Phoenix, I'm taking the Warriors to win because of their championship pedigree. Now, let me ask you this question before we continue to move forward, talk about Bob Myers as well as DeMar DeRozan. Are you concerned about the Warriors right now because they're in that A spot and we've seen some flaws this year and their bench not as good as it was last year? Why for yes and for no? Let us know down in the comment section. Now to Bob Myers, the architect of four NBA championships for the Dubs. And his future, it's uncertain. Adrian Wojnarowski with this. Golden State Warriors president of basketball ops, Bob Myers, the architect, as I said, of those four NBA championships in the past eight years. He's entering into the final months of his contract. He remains without a new deal. Joe Lacob, you're a good businessman. You're savvy. You know how to run a good business. That's why you bought the Golden State Warriors, right? This ownership group is good, and I'm sure that Steve Kerr will advocate for Bob Myers. Do the right thing. Do the smart thing. Lock him down to a contract extension. This guy is a special, special evaluator of basketball talent. Now, he was asked about his contract, and he kept it very short and simple. My entire focus is on the season and the team. Now, could he bolt for a team like the Los Angeles Lakers because Rob Palenka is a fraudulent joke? Maybe, but why leave the Golden State Warriors where you've won four titles in the last eight years? Joe Lakeup on Bob Myers, who admittedly probably wants to get paid. We love Bob, and we hope he is here for a long time. So 
the Warriors as an organization keeping it very vague on the Bob Myers front. It's really important for them to lock down Bob Myers for the future years to come because great general managers, great basketball evaluators, they are very difficult to find, and they have one in-house. Do not let him get away. You don't want to let your money get away, so that's why you have to download the Rocket Money app. If you head to rocketmoney.com slash NBA now, you can optimize your finances and cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Are you wasting money on subscriptions every month? 80% of people, get this, have subscriptions they totally forget about. And maybe for you, it's an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account that never gets streamed. This great app, it's Rocket Money. It helps me track all of my expenses. And because of it, I no longer waste money on those subscriptions that I don't even use. It's formerly known as Truebill, now Rocket Money. The app shows all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. And to cancel it, all you have to do, press cancel. It's simple, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. So download the app and make sure you use our link so that Rocket Money knows that Warriors Today and Chat Sports sent you. It's rocketmoney.com slash NBA now. Now to DeMar DeRozan. A trade idea has been circulating across the NBA atmosphere surrounding DeMar DeRozan to the Golden State Warriors. Now, you look at this trade. It's a lot to give up for DeMar DeRozan. But again, we continue to have this conversation. We had it last year as well. If the Warriors are in an opportunity to win an NBA championship with guys who are starting to get a little bit older with this core, do you just go all in? This would be going all in for DeMar DeRozan. James Wiseman, Jonathan Kaminga, Dante DiVincenzo, first-round pick Patrick Baldwin, and another first-round pick in exchange for DeMar DeRozan. If that trade happens, we're surely going to be talking about it right here on the show. If any other move with the Dubs happens, we're going to talk about it and chop it up. This is your go-to spot for the best Warriors coverage on the entire internet. For those of you who are with us over the summer, we were getting millions and millions of views over the calendar months, over the summer. You don't want to miss it. Plus, it's 100% free. YouTube.com slash Warriors TV. Lock us in. Past four seasons for DeMar DeRozan. Last year, it was a career year for him. I don't love his game because he doesn't shoot a lot of three-pointers. But on the Warriors, you don't need to shoot a lot of three-pointers. When you have players like Steph Curry as well as Klay Thompson. This year, he's really piggybacking off what he did last year. This year in 2022-23, once again, he's been fantastic, 26 points per game. He's shooting more than 50% from the floor. And yes, he doesn't shoot threes, but there's a lot of volume there. So the fact that he's hovering around 50% the last two years, and last year he was even better at nearly 28 when he was playing with San Antonio, a different style. So the points per game down a little bit. But this guy is a walking bucket and could inject some life into this offense and give the Warriors something that they don't have, a guy who can really break you down off the dribble. Steph Curry can do that a little bit. Jordan Poole can do that a little bit. But they're not known as mid-range pull-up jump shooters to the degree that DeMar DeRozan is. So you take a look at this trade idea once again. Again, you're giving up a lot. But you're giving up a lot for guys who aren't playing that much. And DeMar DeRozan would be playing a lot. And if that results in an NBA championship, to me, in my eyes, you go all in. It's all about winning in the immediacy of the moment. So would you make this trade for DeMar DeRozan, who last year was in the thick of the MVP conversation? We always love hearing from you in the comment section here on Warriors today. So please let us know by giving us a T for trade, a P for pass. And another reminder, subscribe to the channel. We're pushing out multiple videos per week, and we're really your go-to spot around draft time, free agency. The NBA trade deadline is going to be here before we know it, and something tells me from the buzz that I'm hearing that the Warriors could be players in making some trades at the NBA trade deadline, and we're going to break it all down. YouTube.com slash Warriors TV, even easier for you. Just hit that subscribe button. And as always, we appreciate all of you for tuning in.